Gotcha. Oh, and sip you a little of that drink right there. Let's give a toast, man. Drink and be merry. Never sip dairy. Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy RVG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos. This is We Intended Reactions, the place where I react to everything I ain't never seen. And if you're read by the title, you know what time it is. It's time to fall the aeons with our paths for some more Star Rail reaction. Now, guys, admittedly, even though I have been immersing myself into this crazy universe, I am a little bit rusty on my knowledge when it comes to Star Rail. Um, it's obviously one of the newer properties and I have already been reacting to other things such as Honkai Impact and Genshin Impact. Um, more familiar with Genshin since that was my foray into the world of the Hoyoverse. Um, so there's not a lot of things that I'm really just informed on. and. Um, I, I, I'm kind of ashamed of that, man, but so much stuff has been going on in life. But one thing that I just love about Hoyoverse and the community in this thing is that you guys just welcome me with open arms and you really just like hearing my opinions on things and actually seeing my reaction to all these awesome things that this community and these developers have to offer. You know, they put a lot of time and attention to, into things like the characters, the story, and most of all, the music, which always hits, man. I'm telling you, I'm going to make it my mission to go to one of those concerts, even if I had to travel to mainland China to do so. But, um, yeah, man, it's kind of been a while, so I'm a bit rusty on things. I don't know a lot about these characters. I just know that they have these things called paths, and they have the path striders and stuff like that. And they essentially follow the ideologies of these uh, godlike beings called Aeons. Um... I... Uh, <laughs> Um, I, I got a lot of requests to do this. This is um, something people have been asking me to watch, and that is the Myriad Celestia, Celestia trailers, which are essentially like these stories that kind of, you know, expand more the lore and stuff like that. And I feel like that's the perfect thing to get into to kind of brushing up on my knowledge of these things, man. Um, you know, it always has these interesting characters that... You know, a lot of people they see as fan service, especially the newer people that watch this thing, they think that it's just all about the hot waifus. But once you get more immersed into the Hoyoverse, you understand that these characters are very deep. You know, they're very fleshed out and they have a lot of things going for them besides the aesthetics. They're not just all for t intents and purposes a fan service, eye candy kind of thing. I mean, even though there's certain things you can say about characters that have just been drawn out like that because they got the Akuna Matatas, you know, but I really appreciate the lore that these things have, and I can't wait to see what these things have to offer. Um, Like, they seem to be getting a lot of views, but what isn't getting a lot of views from Hoyoverse nowadays? You know, they've um built up a solid reputation and stuff, and they just produce a lot of good content. So I'm going to see how this thing goes. Um, I couldn't find uh, that many... Playlist. I try to avoid the official Honkai Star Rail playlist, like the play, because I know that whoever does them, they don't do them in the right order. They're always uh, in reverse. But um, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to watch their playlist. But I'm going to be clicking on each video at a time and trying not to let them auto play because they will go out of order. So we're going to do this, man. Um, <laughs> they already have them out of order up in this thing. Uh, I'm going to start off with the first one being. Myriad Celestia trailer, Fables About the Stars Part 1. So, let's do this, man. Let's make an exchange. Alright, what are we going to exchange? An exchange of memory. Equivalent exchange? I dreamed of a ray of light, of a crystal chalice. That's Ultraman light, right? The light that shone from that crystal spoke to me. Mm. Listen to the parable of the stars. The nameless one, the pathless one, arrived from the edge of the wilderness, mm. clad in stellar radiance. Go now, march unwaveringly into solar wind. At the end, you will return to my embrace. She got some tug cards. Alright, let's go, man. It's time to duel up in this motherfucker. Yet that light began to burn. Piercing through the clouds as a golden death. That looks cool. Towers crumbled, 
And the people fled, for the sun was soon to set. We got the Milli Vanilli dreadlocks. Destruction. The hunt. Be not dismayed, O child of the world. The Lux arrow will descend to purge the wicked abominations. You must follow the traces left behind in the storm's wake. Okay. What are these scriptures? And guards their secrets, plotting out the roots that connect all things. But they are silent, like a shroud of mist at the center of the universe. Listen to the silence, and you will know where the stars are resting. The illuminescence? Let your staff strike the earth, they say. Mm. Ooh. Once and again. We got that manicure and pedicure. The tender sprouts will grow to the sky, and the dew that falls from their branches will rid you of <laughs> sickness and poison. Is she a Aeon? Blindfold your eyes, they say. That the approaching darkness may strike no fear in you. Let it not burden your soul. Mm. Nor numb your stride. Eyes. Push open the majestic gates, they say, and lift up the tablets of lapis. Read them aloud. Let the fire that forged the bricks and the ones that <laughs> laid the walls foundations be known. Harmony, baby. Bone thugs and harmony? Then, they say. Oh, shit, she diffused. Oh, you who have reached the end, enter into the paradise that envelops all. Join this great choir and wow. feast. Listen to the beating of billions upon billions of hearts holding you in their embrace. Okay, this is deep. I'm not sure what's going on. The mariners and temperance. Listen to the infant in the mirror. The waves as they enter the dream. The tipping of the balance. The shapeless prince. And finally, measure the world against yourself. And take all such things to heart. This is the path you should walk. They mm. say. Okay, Not this is the way. Depart once more. Occupy. Countless shooting stars streak the sky tonight. Should you choose the right one, mm. it will carry your wish to thousands. Of distant worlds. All right, man. Hell yeah, I like that. I like it a lot. So that one right there seems like the official introduction. You know, it's getting us ready for that grand adventure out into the star rail. You know, this train that extends out into the outer heavens. You know, and thrusting us on the path. We just have to choose the right path. I feel like they they were essentially giving us an introduction to all the different gods or these aeons and the paths that they uh, essentially have attached to them. Um, it was very philosophical in a way. I feel like if I was in on everything that's going on in this universe, I would understand it a lot better. You know, I'll give better context on that and I wouldn't misconstrue stuff because I'm pretty sure there's so much to this you know it's just you really have to be enamored by all these different concepts that they're just hitting you with back to back you know um but i like it you know that's one thing that i like about all the different hoyoverse animations the way they're able to utilize the whole cg animated cell shading type of uh deal with it i really really enjoy that so yeah off to a great start but anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this next one, man. Um, this one is going to be General of All Affairs at the Seat of Divine Foresight. I like this one right here, Electric Fire too, man. What is that? Is that like a giant electric demon or something? We gonna figure it out, man. But um, here we go, man. Um, let's do this. Yeah, this is gonna be history. Okay, I probably read it wrong. That was a soundtrack. <laughs> um, let's do it. I regret to admit it, but the Xianzhou have very few legends. Mm -mm. 
For what room is there to create legends among those who do not die? But there is one distant legend that can still be recounted. The Who's story that? of the Cloud Knight General. Uh oh! We in the it clouds. Began 8,000 years ago. Shigamaru. When the emperor of an ancient kingdom yearned for both legacy and immortality, he sent our Sienjo ancestors into the astral seas. Nice. And through the boundless stellar reaches sailed, great ships in isolation softly veiled. After voyaging 2,000 years, the ships discovered traces of the divine. Wolfpack. This the is the forms. The also revealed themselves and offered an immeasurable lifespan. Nice. But the blessing was a curse. Hey, that's the like Lakutri. Those who exceeded their lifespan became the deathless doom. Oh yeah, he transforming. And thus the Alliance's long and peaceful years were lost in sickness, treachery, blood, Damn. and tears. It's like that? Yeah, strike this tree down. Of the Sienjo's existence, the Rainbow Arbiter descended and redeemed the crumbling Alliance. Hell oh, yeah. For the next 5, thousand years, the Alliance voyaged the vast cosmos, purifying the universe under divine mandate. Taste the rainbow. Heading the six ships were the vanguards of the hunt, the seven Arbiter Generals. Ooh. Behold at the Marshal's side, six Generals of renown. I like the way he's spinning it. Fierce and swift is Fei Xiao. They the shall. Merlin's claw. Ho, ho, ho. Strong and righteous. Lotus flower, by The flaming heart. Hell yeah. Quiet. Cautious and sophisticated is Yao Kuang, the seer strategist. Yeah, he like the seer of time or something. Like he be utilizing Mighty time mechanics. And powerful is Xuan Quan, the Seish Queller. Mm, quench thirster. The mysterious Thirst quencher is your Wu, the Patina Justice. <laughs> Wise and brave is Jing Yuan, the Divine Foresight. The seven Arbiter Generals wield extraordinary powers. Mm -hmm. Intelligent and visionary Jing Yuan of the Law Fu is admired by friends and feared by foes. Where the arc reactor in With his chest? Skillful sleight of hand, the trap was set. The Borson soon, with crushing loss, were met. Okay, so that's who was in the thumbnail. Who is this guy? An army must be of one heart and mind. Or skillful sleight of hand is little use. The Cloud Knights entrusted their lives to me. I shall not fail them. Mm. Glory to the Shenzhou! Glory to the Cloud Knights! Glory to the Shenzhou! Glory to the Cloud Knights! You better the speak on it. You better represent for the Cloud Knights. She is <clears throat> quite the story, Master Gong Shu. Gong Shu. <laughs> okay, so the seven arbiter generals. That right, that was pretty interesting. I like how they got these guys. Like they're definitely telling a very unique story, and we're getting more details on these paths. You know what I'm saying? Like you got some of these motherfuckers that just was hell bent on causing a lot of destruction. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's jump into this next one. I'm not. I, I accidentally messed up the name. <laughs> <laughs> on the previous previous one if you guys can tell i was naming the soundtrack as opposed to the title so um this time we're not gonna mess up this next one is gonna be japella rebellion scene 47 uh oh let's see what this one's talking about the thumbnail look a bit spooky so here we go kafka stellaron hunter kafka how do you plead mm -hmm. oh she guilty all right 
The crimes you have committed are beyond pardon, but the Chapella Brotherhood respects every individual's entitlement to the afterlife. The fuck is she talking to? Pan's Labyrinth? And embrace your punishment. I like the way this art design is. How do the Stellaron hunters plead to the following accusations? The fuck? It's like some Gil more the Toro the shit. The of the Atuin Universal Auction manipulated the guests, decimated the artistic treasures under the gaze of a devout audience, inflicted monetary damage amounting to over 860 billion credits, and absconded mm. with the auction item. Damn. I would plead. <laughs> Guilty is charged, but not a devout audience. Why is she so cocky with it? The cyber prison of Inupis stole the Sigma Rod to deactivate the firewall, allowing a flood of data demons to enter reality, consequently propelling the world toward a judgment day. Shadow of the Colossus? The meta code. How do you plead? Guilty. I admit it, but those data demons deserve a taste of freedom. Ooh. That it looks cool. The ring world Golconda Data demons. the philosopher's poison virus across all colonies, causing 46 million inorganic entities to turn into rampant machines, and stole the steel core from Golconda's point of gravitational equilibrium, <laughs> silencing the entire world. Big O. How it's showtime. Oh? Sounds like a page out of the Japella Brotherhood's playbook. But sure, we took the thing. Yeah, she must know she's gonna get out of this situation. The Law 51 Stellaron event, cyber attacks against the planet Skrulum, the Beer Point incursion, and so on. <laughs> A total of 46 criminal cases. Do you admit that all these malicious incidents were the work of the Stellaron hunters? <laughs> if you ask me, it seems like the Annihilation Gang has their fingers in quite a few of these pies. But I confess, it seems you forgot one, though. What's that? What do we forget? Chapella Rebellion. Ooh. <laughs> What's going on? What's gonna happen? What Chappelle about to do? She on her Carmen San Diego shit right now. She finna take the whole world over. They ain't gonna be able to catch her. Even if Ellie is on this Max Mad Max bullshit. Oh, that you looks really stop playing with your food. Kafka. <laughs> I know. Kafka. Next time. This time, it's already too late. Yeah, yeah. That looking like a wallpaper right there. You need to go ahead and just screenshot that shit. Why she look like one of the background dancers from Michael Jackson's Dangerous Performance, if you guys remember that. There was something about her hair, her lines. The girl was bad. Ugh. The girl was dangerous. Boom. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I like that, man. I love these. What I uh, what what I particularly like about these is how they instantly pull you in, even if you aren't really aware of all the things that's happening. You want to know. You actually want to know the characters. This chick right here, she's a girl of a few words, but when she talks, she speaks with so much confidence, and it doesn't feel like she's shaken by all of these accusations that are thrown upon her. You know, she's obviously under a lot of um you know scrutiny for these acts that she's pulled but she looks like she does it for the thrill she almost like looping the third you know what i'm saying or fujiko mine or carmen san diego i really like that i've that makes me want to see what her gameplay looks like you know like does she steal your heart your soul or your money but anyways man yeah um i'm digging it i'm really really digging it but let's go ahead and jump into this next one. This is going to be History of the... Let's try to get this. Uh, Xuanzu Exodus of the Five Dragons. Here we go. <laughs> oh, man. I have traversed great lengths seeking a piece of history. The history of long the permanence. Ooh. I, too know little of the progenitor it's gonna be of some dragons. Okami style shit. Before the dawn of history, long traversed the burgeoning chaos, seeking the answer to existence. And on that path, the revelation of the permanence was unraveled. Mm. Then came our emergence, us, Rebirth. Long Scions. I visited Liaras, a world encircled by five suns. The giant dragon sat overseeing the turning of day and night, the change of seasons, 
shelter. The yeah, Ghidra. Could the revelation of the permanent signify the timeless nature of one's greatness? The relentless pursuit of individual immortality will only breed an unending multitude of malevolent creatures. Such is the fallacy of the plague's author. So then does the permanence represent the continuance of the bloodline? Roman Reigns? The home of the Infernalian people, in the land of white embers. The undead dragon Typhon's breath showered flames on the land below. Wow. Bringing forth a flourishing lineage. Long scions are dispersed throughout countless worlds, living in solitude. In the vastness of the universe, the rise and fall of one race is of little consequence. Hmm. It is said that the Vidyatara formed an alliance with the Xianzhou, <laughs> and that five elders descended upon the mortal realm to keep watch over the plague monsters. Wow. Perhaps the permanence is the noble ambition that ensures the safety of the universe. Okay. <sighs> Alas, Imbibitor Lune forsook his oath, causing a state of great disorder. Damn, the bro. elders too bear mortal frailties, their heavy burdens ultimately becoming the shackles which bind them. From your perspective, what does the Permanence's revelation truly signify? As the sun and moon rise and fall, the world undergoes continuous change. So the concept of stability is meaningless. Uh -huh. Only by comprehending and aligning. But the cooking up a pot of flaming gumbo right now. They got different and elemental dragons. Grandis. Mons Grandis. Within the cycle of life, any endpoint may mark the inception of a new journey. Who is this? And for him, it is no different. Even though this man is in an uncomfortable position, he just makes it look so elegant, like he just chilling with it, man. He ain't even bothered. You know, he in straight bondage right now on some S and M shit, but he ain't even worried. He ain't phased at all. That was a good one right there. Um. What's unique about all of these is how the producers of these trailers, they don't feel like sitting in that bubble of inertia, you know, that sitting in that comfortable pocket where they just put out the same style of animations for each one. They're going to continue to push the envelope and utilize different genres and different uh, styles of animation. This one right here, it looks so, um, I don't know, it feels like they're telling like this classical Chinese folklore story and then utilizing it in the form of these paintbrush strokes and stuff that you would see up in um, classical Chinese art and stuff of that nature, man. I really, really like that. Like, a, like a, uh, I said earlier, I don't know what's going on, but I really love how serious it is, you know, and how the music perfectly meshes with the tone of the trailers. It's very beautiful, you know, it, and three minutes of that you know i'm just watching this shit and i'm not understanding everything it's still great it's great and and i feel like we're just getting backstories for all these different like i say like all these gods but anyways um <laughs> let's keep it moving and grooving man this is going to be cloud knight's martial doctrine on soul Okay, so we're going back to the Cloud Knights mythos again. This would be interesting. Let's see what they're talking about. Traveling with you has stirred up my curiosity. Uh-oh. What drove you to pick up the sword at such a young age? Well, I suppose there's no harm in telling you. At first, it was the general stories about the previous sword on time enough? He told me about her unparalleled skills, her unmatched prowess with a single blade. Mm. It inspired me that one day I could earn the title myself. All right. So, with that soul caliber sword. Lore of renown. I also wanted to live up to the general's expectations and repay him for the gift of his teachings. Where would I be without him? Then you wish to forge deeper ties. It's more than that. One day, I'll run into battle alongside my Cloud Knight comrades, mm. defending the Wafu and striking down those who threaten us, putting yeah. my abilities to their rightful use. <laughs> In the end, it all comes back to fealty. 
What's with all the questions, miss? Right. Why did you choose the path of the sword? I too was once shackled by fame and fortune, impeded by bonds and loyalty. But in the end, the sword moves beyond such notions. <laughs> For the sword is just a sword. It an is. Instrument determining life and death. Nothing can tarnish its essence. Boy, they getting down on the ones and twos with their piano. I'm gonna slash everybody down. Only when you've walked the fiery trail and cut through every impediment. Oh, she the mentor some things. Understand the purpose behind every swing of your sword. Damn. Yes, these is bloody shoes she's wearing right now. You sure this is the life you want to live? Do you understand now? You want to walk this path? Sword champion. Right? The sword to vanquish my enemies. Okay, you all about this shit. Uh oh! <laughs> she had to let him know, man. She had to kind of flex on her a little bit. It's like, hey, all that child's play shit. You want to play with them knights and stuff, the cloud knights? I'm on a oh, I'm like, like I'm on some demon time shit right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm built for this. This sword is tastes so much blood, it whips it up like Kool Aid. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, <laughs> busting through all kind of villains and stuff. That one right there was tight. That was tight, man. Once again, gives you um, gives you like a little peep into the world of these characters, and makes you very much interested in them. Um, <laughs> and they're using them brush strokes too. I just love that, man. I don't know how the animators do all of that and just kind of mix and mesh CG with more practical um, art elements and stuff, but it's very cool. Very, very cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this next one, man. Interastral Peace Tour Selection, Planning, and Opportunity. Here we go. Hey, that's you. That's you. Okay. Wait for you. The gem filled with endless potential. All right, Put man. The IPC's gem identification system will ensure that each and every talent you possess will be harnessed for any. Well, where do I sign up, bro? Have the thrill of adventure coursing through your veins. I do. And so, our marketing development department is rolling out the red carpet just for you. With the nameless Oswaldo Schneider leading the way, a vast number of new worlds will soon be a part of our expansive credit system. If you're someone who values structure and logic, uh -huh. Our business consolidation department offers the perfect stage for you to shine. Hell yeah! Products twinkling like a million stars. This department has created a spectacular trade network that's measured in light years. All right, let's Part do of this. Our delivery system to synesthesia beacons. No. Those one science fiction is now reality. Proudly produced by the IPC. Got IPC. Nothing short of genius. Look no further. Our technology department is waiting for you. Join us and team up with the intelligentsia again. When the glitters of fortune and title dim before the luminous path of the Amber Lord, uh -huh. know that the building material logistics department is the sanctuary for the most ardent of followers. Uh -huh. Become the cornerstone of our operations. Every show you place with precision plays a pivotal role. Brent will Ooh. form the backbone of our formidable subspace bear. If you're someone whose qualities go beyond the ordinary, Unyielding in the harshest of storms, this message is for you. <laughs> hey, okay, DJ Daft Punk up on this shit. Irrelevant. Diamond seeks out the unique and the extraordinary. And those who sit at the table will determine where the wealth pulls. I admire this guy's enthusiasm. This is just another division. It's a shining beacon of a power. I heart deserves top perks, and that's why the talent motivation department was established. Every task you undertake serves as the pioneering spark that sets Pierre Point's passion ablaze. Bad and bougie with it. For those seasoned in the craft and still hold on to cherished dreams, our operations are as everlasting as the sway of ocean tides along the shore. All right. Witness the traditional project department's great supervisor, Arita, ready to capture the treasures the tide unveils. Hmm. Take the leap, join our ranks, and climb to unparalleled heights. Shape the destinies of myriad worlds, and make the history of the galaxy your very own footnote. I like how he didn't even try to hide it. This the is like some kind of pyramid scheme. Amber Lord has struck. 
Mm. MC Hammer Daddy, y'all. Shit. Waiting for you. Get this guy a raise. I love what he's selling, even though I don't even know what the fuck it is. Like he just captures on he captures you on his enthusiasm alone, you know. Um shouts out to the voice acting up in this too. Like that's another thing that's kind of unparalleled when it comes to Hoyoverse properties. Um I know a lot of them aren't voice acted in English, but the ones that are are, are very good because you know even though voice acting has come a long way it's it's kind of like frowned upon when it comes to like foreign properties people would rather hear them in their native tongue because there's just something about the way the actors from that territory deliver it it's, it's different and you can feel it because they take their uh they take their 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 shows and video games very seriously when it comes to like um voice acting but I love how these voice actors sound. It fits, and it also, you know, it kind of matches well with uh, what Westerners like. You know, it still respects the source material and the vibe that it's trying to convey. But we have our own spin on it. And this guy right here, he was really laying it down. He almost sounds like he was bitten by a radioactive Samuel Jackson too. I'm not sure if I'm the only one who got that, but hey. I, I like to believe that, yeah, some other people share my sentiments. But um, let's go ahead and jump into this next one, man, because we're coming down to the nitty gritty, man. Um, this next one, it has like a girl that looks like she's scared. And it could potentially be some kind of spooky stuff going on. This is going to be an exorcism at Fiestro Garden. Uh-oh, somebody's head's about to spin. Let's see who it is. Here we go. When the Shienzo people roamed the galaxy, mm -hmm. they inevitably made strange beings. So lots of spooky stories uh -oh. start with these encounters. On one such occasion, a new Ten Lords Commission judge received a decree ordering her to subdue a demon. Excuse Stew me, a demon. One. Where are your manners? Why does everybody have the same face and why are their tongues looking out like that? They some super freaks. <laughs> Uh-oh. Beetlejuice? Huh? Uh, it can't be. Last time you're gonna sniff some pee pee. Oh no. You. The new one. The new one? <laughs> so she's worked with these type of kids before. Yeah, this is like a Chinese Beetlejuice. It's a girl. <laughs> Run, Lord! It's not what you think. Don't judge a book by its cover. Knock, knock. The door isn't gonna hold much longer. Knock, knock. The door's coming down. Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's real. <laughs> What's up with these spirits having Pizza Hut coupons on their faces? You asked for a spooky tale to grow some guts, didn't you? Mm -mm. This is what you faced on your first day. What are you shaking in your boots? <laughs> oh, give her a break. Uh -uh. I love how the animation just shifted again. That's enough courage training for today. <laughs> courage training. Where do you think you're going? It ain't over yet. <laughs> Hasn't this poor girl been through enough? Her brain's gonna be broken by the time she finishes. Uh, what's the next one, man? Um, okay, Transcendent Ron, Ruan Tunes, Blushing May Blooms. Okay, they got bars, I see. They over here trying to rhyme with this shit. Here we go. Mother. Your letters are always welcome. The plum blossoms bloom and wither, and I occasionally catch a scent of loneliness. I once again am thinking back to the research in my childhood. Yeah. With you in the yeah. man's land. That comfy cabin, teeming with boundlessly joyous forms of life. Those days are unforgettable. Ooh. I understood the fastness of the universe. I know got eyeballs. I was different. Than every other kid around me. Oh, she gonna stare at this shit in amazement. 
She's different from everybody else. She's curious. Growth, death. Lamenting the process of life is the origin of my thinking. Jellyfishes. I began to realize that I longed for something pure. Attachment involves the insular cortex, which controls anxiety and pain. The laws of emotion can be easily broken down. Children will become more well-behaved when they receive random rewards. Hmm. When I discovered how easy it was to cultivate a planet, I began to feel... Empty. Hey! It's so beautiful! She sees things in a different light from everybody else. Fundamental research. Recently, I've had some different thoughts. At first, I was terrified of its appearance. Mm. It is born of wonder, does not resist, and does not grieve. It is the closest thing to the feeling I had. Hello? Yeah, she's a drifter too. It's like she drifts out like mentally. Her head is in the clouds or the water. I feel like I'm in a Kingdom Hearts opening. Of the universe and seek deeper answers. I have nothing to lose and nothing to gain. If life is cultivated and reproduced, break it all down. You can dissect remembrance, control equilibrium, deconstruct beauty, and reproduce. Pain. She about the DNA vid digivol on us. Become a what? A jigga who? A jigga what? What's she trying to become? Oh wow, she's breaking the fourth wall now. So she can actually play this game. She's just trying to find codes. That's why she. Worry not, my dear assistant. I will reward you. Mm -hmm. It's like a Chinese Macy Grace. Okay, so this chick, she definitely feels like a drifter, you know, like, um, while everybody else is acknowledging all these things going around, she's just kind of like in her own world in a sense, you know, she's curious about how everything works, especially when it comes to all these mystical creatures, if I got that correctly. I'm not sure, but I like her vibe though, because she just going with the flow. Even when people are talking to her, it's like she's just steadily she's straight shot she her eyes are transfixed on whatever she's like interested in you know and the world around her it doesn't really matter like that it's just all about what she has her eyes set on you know um maybe that's her path you know she has a very linear path no other interests involved very linear interests on whatever she's interested in um but anyways let's go ahead and jump into this next one man uh, this is going to be All Night of Ever Flame Scene 33. Ooh. Well, it looks like this one's going to be cool. Here we go. An Akali, planet of festivities. A cradle drowning in dreams. A haven for the cowardly. Damn. The family has summoned guests for its grand celebration. The golden blood will flow. Okay, I'm seeing the production quality improve. Man, they sacrificed the gold? Children of the flame. Illumi yes, and the luminescence? Rite of passage. A oh, yeah. Gosh, I lit a fire in your eyes and showed you music of the string. Secret society, baby. Serenade the celebration and hush the harmony into muted awe. It will be done, Father. Mm. Dura, I set the your apple. former light and taught you mastery of the blade. That apple got a Take spinal cord? Sulfur, made the elation and let the performer's blood and tears pour into the abyss. As you wish, Father. Yeah, this nigga on some nefarious stuff. I kindled a flame in your heart and granted you blood of fire. Use your wrath to shatter the preservation sanctum and build their gold to create a statue of our savior. You got it, old man. 
They got the game on lock, I see. At last. My most ambitious and exceptional child. There is nothing more to teach you. Just remember, without Pelicone's midnight hour, strip away all they hold dear and leave naught but the remembrances too. Ambie looks cool. <laughs> like some from My Hero Academia. She won't be necessary. Bayonet? Take them alone. Katarina, a little pessimism might be wise. Oh, she boos you with it. What if we all end up dead? Okay, all of them have horns, it looks like. A. Hey. So when have those on the path of destruction feared death? Cello. Still, it is wise to plan ahead, father. Damn, what the fuck is wrong? Oh, okay. There are no what strings on me. Back if things become perilous. Xehanort got uh, let her hold of his guardian. Such a thing does not exist. She got a whole stand. She is brave and heroic. To cling to life is to delay in cowardice. Relish Pinnacone, see for its invitation. Prepare this beautiful dream to welcome its new master from Fedora. Mm. If it, Duke Inferno, ever flee, Bancha. Let's go, baby. Where do I sign up to join the Hellfire Club? <laughs> yeah, these people very much give off a uh, secret society type of vibe. You know, they, they are in the know on a lot of things and they have so much planned that others aren't aware of. Very cool. Like all these dudes, this dude's minions, they look like badasses. You know, I like how one guy, he has like the damn the big cello or whatever they call that. I'm not that familiar with a lot of instruments, but I would like to believe that was like the big cello though. I'm not sure if he just plays shit that, you know, is to die for, or he can just, you know, just like go Jeff Jarrett on your ass, slap nuts mode and go upside your head with the damn cello. Either way, a very interesting group of individuals. And I'm interested in knowing what that guy is, you know, like what is he like the Baphomet himself? Who knows? Uh, let's go ahead and jump into this next one, man. Uh, this one is going to be a revisiting of past dreams. Here we go. Dear Diary. A dazzling item. Are you looking for its owner? Okay, this chick again. Allow me to divine, using your memories as a medium. We got an uh, invitation there. This is beautiful. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! Floating off into the city, girl. Oh, wow, you can jump in. Who's that, Miss Minutes? Or her cousin? Uh, this looks like a cool intro. If you guys have seen like Paprika, that's what this reminds me of. Very much a Paprika montage. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Spin it! Gotcha! Go ahead and sip you a little of that drink right there. Let's give a toast, man. Drink and be merry. Never sip dairy. We jumping off of dresses. We up in the designs. You know what I'm saying? We cut from a different cloth. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, this is beautiful, man. Hey. Ew, that's ugly. What are those things? And she was able to capture all these moments. Yeah, what is that? The truth does not lie. Neither do memories. Oh shit, it's already starting to crack. Is it cracking the fourth wall again? Okay, there's the goat head guy again. Predestined paths have already converged. She has arrived. Excuse me, has anyone found a makeup here? Thank you. I was looking for 
Mm. Where is Miss Cleo when you need her? All these terror cards you got up in here. That menacing infernal fire absorbed by the vast, profound sea. And that sea surprisingly dwells on the planet of festivities. Yeah, I really like that one. Like, just when I thought I found my favorite one, something else just comes in and says, forget that shit. You ain't seen nothing yet. Like, the, the, the production value just continues to increase with each um, Myriad Celestia trailer that we click on. And this one right here was very reminiscent of what I saw in this anime called Paprika. Um, it's uh, done by the same guy that did the anime Perfect Blue and also Paranoia Agent. If you guys are familiar with any of those anime properties, you know that that guy has this sense of wonderment. And it's almost like he in inspired some of the other Hollywood stuff that we watch, like Inception, because of all those mind-breaking moments that you see up in there. Very similar to this, the way the chick just jumps in and out of these things, you know, and she continues to bend the laws of physics, you know, jumping into like pictures and everything of that nature. I love it. I, I really love it. And then the song was good too. I gotta look up that song. What was that called? Okay, it's an unknown soundtrack. That's for this listing, so I can't I can't find it. But let's jump into the final one, shall we? This is going to be Sparkle Behind the Curtain. Let's make this a grand finale. Hopefully it's good, man. This is the most recent one. Here we go. Beep boop boop bop boop beep boop bop boop beep boop bop bop. She's just a girl. It doesn't matter who I am off hey. stage. Okay, very Tokyo like. All the audience needs to know. Is that when I'm on stage, I'm just okay. Sparkle. Sparkle? It's you, my beloved mask. Kunimitsu? I'm happy. You're smiling too. When I'm angry, you're still smiling. When I'm sad, oh, you're still you smiling. smiling. Right. You're like a veil that I can hide under. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's the what masks are all about. The veil. That's sparkle. Girl of many faces. It's you, my beloved mask. When I'm happy, you're smiling too. When I'm angry, you're screaming too. Mm. When I'm sad, you're crying too. Mm. You're like a mirror showing my reflection. It's like a sad in a mirror. Oh, come here. It's you, my beloved mask. When I'm happy, you're screaming. Wow. When I'm angry, you're crying. It's getting crazier. When I'm sad, you're smiling. You're like a face. Staring at me. <laughs> I, I'm not Sparkle. No. I am Sparkle. So, when I realized life was just a play, mm. I wanted to leave the stage. Because off stage, there's an even bigger stage. The what do world. you say? Who's the real Sparkle? Yeah, that's interesting, man. I love how multifaceted this one seems to be. That is so interesting. It's almost like they're alluding to this girl possibly having multiple personalities and the mask reflecting her personalities or each individual personality. It's like, is she controlling this power or mask that she has or is it the mask that's controlling her? It's it's almost like this dual identity that she has. But that one right there was very cool. But guys, that's gonna do it for our reactions to all the Myriad Celestia trailers. Like these were all very good and well constructed. Like I like the way they continue, like I say, 
Hoyoverse, they don't like sitting comfortably in the pocket. They are all about just having a very um, diverse style when it comes to trailers and concepts and making sure they fall in line with the characters' personalities. You know, that's one way that I think all companies should think, you know. Like, if you're going to introduce these characters and their personalities, try to do something with the trailers that makes them stand out. You know, I even wish this with, like, um, fighting game reveal trailers because there are, there are so many fighting game characters that we see and you just know that they're going to showcase the moves for those characters. They're going to have their own theme songs, but the style in which they're animated or presented, it's going to be the same, you know. So I really appreciate that Hoyoverse is able to deliver these things in like these beautiful packages that fans just can't wait to bear witness to because they know that they're going to be potentially looking at another favorite trailer, you know, that they're going to save in their little repertoire or playlist. So, yeah, it's very, very good, man. Um... Like I said, guys, a lot has been going on in my personal life that I have just been trying to get in order. You know, I'm just trying to figure it out. So it is nice to jump back into something that kind of makes me um, forget all those things. It provides this this area that I can escape in, you know, um, this area of magic and wonderment and awesome music. It's like I'm watching a concert while I'm looking at visuals. So, yeah. Uh, just want to give a major shout out to you guys for actually tuning in like you always do like y'all when I have so many questions y'all place them in the comments and I love when y'all tell me what you liked or disliked about my reactions it seems like you guys tell me what you like more than dislike I don't really get that you know so it's it's nice to know that you guys are interested in seeing what I have to you know say or seeing what I want to watch with these and providing proper context to it. But yeah, that's going to do it for us today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction because as always, I have a blast reacting to these things with you and for you. If there's anything that I may have missed or got misconstrued, and if there's anything else that you want to recommend to me regarding the Hoyoverse, do all of that in the comment section below. But once again, this is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer. We ain't sending reactions. Hopefully I'll catch you guys on another reaction to Hankai Star Rail. Peace.